You guys were looking for birthing stories? Uh Yes. But when my daughter was born, my wife was falling asleep between contractions because she was very tired. And uh, my daughter was born with a lot of hair on her head. And the nurse, while my wife had fallen asleep during contraction, was playing with my daughter's hair while she was still only crowning inside. (laughs) That's so gross. That day that I went into labor mm-hmm. was probably the craziest day ever. The night before is when I officially went into labor, and my boyfriend was like, okay, well, we only live a few minutes from the hospital. They say, wait until your contractions are five minutes apart. Well, he went to bed, pacing my house in pain, back and forth, getting in the tub, getting in the shower. Wait, boyfriend? Yeah, he went to bed. <laughs> he was feeling the contractions for you. <laughs> he went to bed. Oh, he went to bed. Oh, I thought you said he was the one pacing and taking a shower. No, I was. He went to bed. Oh, he's oh. lucky to still be alive. <laughs> yeah, well, the next morning, it was probably 7 o'clock. I go in, I go, it's time to get up and it's time to go. And he goes, well, do you think I have time to eat breakfast? <gasps> I was like, you better make a toast and let's go. And he gets done with that. He goes, well, can I take a shower? I was like, you're going to die in about 10 seconds. <laughs> so he takes a shower and we get in the car, we get going. He goes, I forgot my wallet. <gasps> so he turned around, came home, got his wallet, mm-hmm. get going. He goes, I forgot the phone. Oh, my I goodness. I was like, screw the phone. Just get me there. So we get there. We went in the room. I sat in the room for an hour before anybody came in to see me. So by the time they got in there to see me, I couldn't have no pain meds because between him and the doctor. Oh, no. I was already dilated six centimeters. Oh, wow. So we get in bed. They have me all hooked up to the monitors and stuff, and he turns on the TV. <laughs> what? Oh, and when did you know a Pearl Jam concert was playing? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, so the whole time I'm in labor with no pain meds, no nothing, he's sitting there watching Pearl Jam. <laughs> Are you still with him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? When my firstborn son, I was in labor, and we stopped at my mother's house so I could pick up some clothes, go inside for five minutes, come back out, and the Bronco got stolen. Oh, no. What? I had no way to get to the hospital. We are in a snowstorm, and they say to me, just take a cab. We got to go down to the police station. What? So they, yeah, they sent me in a cab to the hospital to have my baby. My uh, husband got to the hospital after they, you know, went to the police station, filed the report. We didn't find the car for like three days. And he says, do you want a Domino's pizza? I'm like, are you kidding me? Dude? <laughs> uh, maybe after the birth, but not now. Exactly. Oh. And my husband had worked for Domino's Pizza at the time, so my child had to come home in a Domino's delivery car. <laughs> there you have it. You win. Yep, you, you win. You win. <laughs>